hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be teaching you how to make the straw mat fascinator please kindly click the subscribe button and also the notification bell to always get notified whenever i post a new video now i'll be making use of fishing line and needle ostrich feather about two of them trimmings already molded fascinator measuring tape alice band flower straw mat we'll be making use of this as well hot glue gun wire the strong wire that's what we'll be making use of now to start I will put my needle at that end and with my measuring tape I'll take it round the strong mat to measure out the length of the wire I will use I want to know the length of the wire to use so that's why I'm using my measuring tape to do this as I reached here, what I got is about 46 inches. So I'll add like 3 inches more, making it 49 inches. So the next step is I'll put this wire this way see where I'm putting it at the back of the straw mat take note of it please so I'll fold it this way and with my fishing line and needle I'll start sewing just watch the way I'm sewing it So watch what I'm doing because you really need to follow this video step by step if you really want to get what I'm doing. So watch closely what I'm doing with this fishing line and needle. Just see the way I'm sewing it. So I'll keep sewing this this way until I get to the other end of it. So I'm trying as much as possible for this fishing line not to show on top as I'm sewing it. So I'm trying to arrange this wire the way it should be. So, just watch what I am doing. You see the way it's going? So, when I get to that end, I'll keep tucking it. I just overlapped the wire. It's just inside. I didn't tie it with anything. I just overlapped it and I used this needle and fishing line to cover it up the way I've been sewing. Then when you get to this end, you tie up. When you're done tying up, you cut out the SS fishing line. So this is it. So you can use your trimmings to cover up those edges, okay? So I'm just trying to, you know, show you the way it can be covered up. So that, that is what you do. So next, you put the cap under at the middle. You use your trimming as well to cover up that edges as well. That is an illustration. I just want to show you how 
you can cover it up. So when you are done with those things, next thing to do is to use the fishing line and needle to attach on this, to attach these two together, sorry. But before you attach it, you need to use your hot glue gun to gum it together first in order for it to be strong. Eh? You don't need to forget that. I'm just trying to illustrate more on how you can make this strong. That's why you need to watch this video to the end because if you keep fast forwarding, you miss so many things from this video. So make sure you attach very strong. You keep, you know, sewing it until it becomes strong. That is what you would do. Don't forget that okay so when you are sure this is strong you tie it up so make sure it becomes strong if it's not strong you won't really you know enjoy the look it will keep, you know, trying to fall or something of that nature. So you tie up when you are done. And you can, you know, tie it up the way I'm just doing it. Any way you want to tie it up that suits you, you tie it up, okay? So this is the way I'm just doing mine. Though there are so many methods, but... I choose to do this so this is it when you're done you cut out the SS fishing line so this is the way it is so the next step is to attach this ostrich feather to your work with your hot glue gun you you know attach this ostrich feather you can decide on how you want to attach it. You can face it down like this or you face the ostrich feather up depending on how you want to see that I'm facing mine down. But what happened in this video is that I let that face it up because that is the most preferable method that will make it look fine. It is still down now. The ostrich feather is still down. But you need to watch to the end. And you will find out that I let her face it up. It still faced down here. But it doesn't really look fine in my eyes. The way it is like this. But you still need to watch. To see how it would be when I face that ostrich feather. Up. Now I'm attaching my Alice band as you can see. That's what I'm doing. So remember, I have not covered these edges with my trimmings, but you need to cover it up. You need to cover it up. Though I'm not covering it up now, I just want to show you how to cover it up as i've shown you before also cover this place up as well what i'm just giving to you is an illustration so this is how it looks like when i'm done can you see that i've faced this ostrich feathers up that is the most preferable method thanks for watching bye